If you haven't heard about multi-cursor in VS Code, let me tell you about it now. So when you select a word in VS Code, you can see each instance of that word highlighted. And if you press Ctrl-D or Command-D on Mac, you can start to select the next instance and the next instance and so on. Or you can press Ctrl-Shift-L or Command-Shift-L on Mac to select all instances. And the great thing about multi-cursor is that it lets you type over all the selected instances of the word you have selected. But there's a problem. VS Code takes whatever case I'm typing in and applies it to all the selected matches. Luckily, there's a solution for that. And it's called multiple cursor case preserve. Let's install it now. Now that it's installed, let's undo our last change and let's try again. So I'll select all instances and now watch what happens when I start to type you'll see that all the selected items maintain their original case reflected into whatever I'm typing out. For me, this has saved a lot of annoyance when trying to work quickly, or especially when working through larger files. Hopefully you find it useful as well. Stay tuned for more tips on VS Code. Happy coding!